rippled soft, spilling over the band of my underwear. Thighs compressed under tight jeans like balloon animals. Hips and love handles rolling waves under my dress like ocean current. You're not fat, they said. You look good. But they weren't claustrophobic in a dressing room, an elephant on tiptoe in a boxcar trying on jeans that can't close, that can't cross thighs like mountains. Blouses stuck on shoulders, summoning like triumphant climbers turned anxious, trapped at the top. My skin stretched to accommodate everything I consumed in ways my clothes couldn't. Millions of microscopic cells reproducing manically while I swallowed fried potatoes without chewing. Body image is elastic like skin. I lied and said I like myself this way. I'm just curvy because I'm Cuban. My body is a testament to my heritage. I made room in my heart for my ever-expanding flesh, carved out a home for thighs that blocked pants on their way up, for breasts that grew out of bras like a girl still in training, for a round belly that led the way through the world. I said, welcome, and I love you, even as I cringed at the truth in pictures. I refused to take the bad ones off Facebook because I wore body acceptance like a badge of honor. I told people I was most comfortable in a bikini, which was true, but anyone can fit in two swaths of elastic if you cut enough spandex. The truth was, regular clothes stopped fitting two years ago. So I gave up bread, I gave up sugar, I said goodbye, pasta, rice, potatoes. I broke out with carbohydrates like an enabling boyfriend in the kitchen, pulling ice cream out of the freezer and saying, let's use the big bowls. I lost 50 pounds in 10 months, went from a size 14 to a four before I started having fat days again. Days when I can't tell if the mirror is lying. Days when my new pants still fit but reflection looks swollen. Body image is elastic like skin. The doubts snap back even as you shrink. The mirror reads, never good enough in red lipstick. Skinny is an addiction in the negative. Instead of how much you can put into your body, it's how much can you take out. It's a race against numbers where I keep checking the scale from my pulse. With the weight, I lost my voice because no one gives a shit what the skinny girl has to say about negative body image. I don't want to find myself at the bottom, but that's where I'm looking. The numbers under my feet, the smallest, the lowest, the only place in my life where less is better, the only place in my life where I want to shrink. Woo, 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 woo.